What's up, y'all? This is your boy, Scotty, and you're watching my review on the season premiere of the season five of Basketball Wives LA. What's going on, you guys? Um, let's just say that this episode really wasn't that eventful. I mean, I can honestly say that, and that's mainly because it's the season premiere. It is never that much to go on on a season premiere of any Basketball Wives show. So let's just get into it right now. Shawnee and Jackie met up. And, um, you know, um, Jackie pretty much confided in Shawnee about Doug getting a new job and how he's about to be coaching and he's going to be going everywhere. And she feels like if he takes the job, that means her own career stops. And that means that she's going to be following him everywhere he goes. And my thing about it is, Jackie, please, like, you don't need to be doing this shit. You know what I mean? Like, live your own damn life. You on Basketball Wives LA. There's a reason why you are on there. You know what I mean? Like, you're trying to get yourself together. You're trying to get your own pockets together. Let him do him because I know after all these years of him being married to your ass, he ain't going to do shit. I feel like he's scared of your motherfucking ass too much. So, at the end of the day, um, Jackie... Set your ass the fuck down. Doug, Doug ain't gonna do shit. He really ain't gonna do nothing. So you just need to stop. So then I'm not gonna talk about that little sex talk thing. How she checks Doug when he gets done or whatever. I'm not even gonna check out it. I ain't gonna say nothing about that because I don't mind sex talk. But hearing Jackie Christie talk about fucking can't take it. So then Jackie messy ass decides to ask Shawnee about Brandy. And, you know, Shawnee has this big issue with Brandy and how, you know, she said that she called and apologized several times already. But then she turned around and did this and did that. And Jackie said that, you know, Brandy owed Shawnee an apology. First of all, I don't think that she owes Shawnee a motherfucking thing. Because Shawnee was being a passive-aggressive ass bitch towards her. Which she is a passive-aggressive bitch. She's always been that way. And I pulled her card the second season of Basketball Wives Miami. If you watch any of my earlier videos, I've been clocked her T a long time ago. She been a messy ass bitch, but want to pretend like she ain't she. You want you know what I'm saying? Pretend like she ain't a part of the mess. Like she too classy for the drama. She ain't too classy for a motherfucking thing. I mean, she was all for Tammy and Evelyn bullying bitches. But when it got, when it became too much for her motherfucking ass, that's when she decided she wanted to go talk to the pastors and she wanted to get a life right with Christ and do all this other bullshit and give us this boring ass season of Basketball Wives Miami season five when they brought Tasha Marbury on there and all of that shit. Like she did all that changing around only for her to bring her ass on LA and do the same shit she been doing. Start up mess and bring her pit bull Tammy along to bite the bitches that she need to be bit. I ain't fool. So then we see that Brandy is back. Um, her and um her best friend Duffy is in D in Dallas, Texas. They're both from Dallas and everything like that. Um, basically, Brandy was telling the truth at that table. Pretty much, she was basically you know reading Shawnee for fifth. Like, if you're gonna be a boss, don't fraternize with your motherfucking employees. Like, if you want to be a boss so bad, what the fuck make you think that your wig is safe? You can get your wig split like everybody else. I feel like once you get in front of that camera, bitch, you want to bust. Your wig is up for grabs. Like Malaysia wig up for grabs. Like Tammy wig up for grabs. Like Jackie wig. Everybody is up for grabs when you get in front of that camera. So, bitch, you can be the boss all motherfucking day. And you can be the executive producer all the fuck you want to, bitch. But it don't mean shit. It's a vanity title, bitch. You pitched the show to VH1. You sold the show to VH1. And once you sell that motherfucking VH1, you are one of fucking many. It's their show at this point. All you're going to get is a check. It's not your show anymore. Yeah, you created it. Yeah, you originated it. Yeah, you sold it. But when once it gets into the hands of Viacom, that's they shit, bitch. You don't make no motherfucking decisions like you think you do. Like you want to proclaim that you do. Like you want to portray yourself to. Bitch, you don't make no motherfucking serious decisions. They do. Because it's they shit. It ain't your shit. It's their shit, bitch. So as soon as you realize that, the motherfucking better, bitch, have a seat. And I'm glad that Brandy ain't taking her shit. And everybody want to come for Brandy and shit. And talk about her ass. But she wasn't for shiny shit. And I'm glad that she wasn't. Somebody had to call that bitch out. And you could tell that she wasn't used to it. Because everybody is used to. She used to everybody kissing her ass. You know Tammy pulled. You know Tammy gonna always kiss a motherfucking ass. Because Shawnee rescued her ass. She put that safety hat on and rescued her ass from the projects and the food stamps. So she gonna always sit up here and do whatever Shawnee asked her to do. You know what I mean? So... 
Shout out to Brandy for that. Okay, so Jackie and Malaysia, um, it seems to me like they're very good friends at this point in time, or they're um, in a very good place. And, um, you know, Jackie asks Malaysia about Angel, and Malaysia pretty much says she don't know who the fuck that is, and she ain't really got much to say to Angel. Angel ain't her friend. They'll never be friends or anything like that. And she's just over it. Like, she doesn't want to discuss Angel. And you know how messy Jackie is. I don't know why the fuck Jackie decided that it was appropriate to even bring up Angel to Malaysia. But, you know, Jackie always got to be the go-to person. You know, we always got to have that one messy bitch in the crew. So, she's going to always bring up a messy situation. Leave it to Jackie Christie. So, we back with Jackie and Malaysia again. They go out to dinner and everything like that. And Brandy pops up. And um, Jackie can't believe to see Brandy in L.A. Because she thought that ja that pretty much she thought that Shawnee fired the shit out of Brandy ass. And that wasn't the case. Like I say, we give Shawnee too, way too much motherfucking power. Hold on, y'all. Way too much fucking power. And when she really ain't got no power like that. She ain't got no motherfucking power. So I feel like we get they they was giving her too much. So um long story short, Brandy decides that she wants to tell them about Duffy. She wants to um have a welcome to a lay party and Jackie asks Brandy who was she inviting? Was she inviting Shawnee and Tammy and Angel? The three people that those two don't like. You know what I mean? She don't like them. And why would she invite them anywhere? You know what I mean? Pretty much Brandy says she don't want no negative vibes at her party. So she's not going to invite them. Um, and I don't blame them. Why the fuck would you invite them bitches? For what? I mean, you're trying to welcome your new friend into the circle. And you want to invite these bitches? Please. Ain't no need. So... There's this new girl that Angel has brought to us. Her name is Angel Love. And apparently she's another bitch that got a man that's fucking cheating on her ass. And this scene really didn't give me nothing. I mean, I, I don't even know why Angel is even back on the motherfucking show. The bitch didn't give me shit last season. Don't look like the bitch gonna give me anything this season. Because she's nothing but a weak ass pushover. And I don't like her motherfucking ass. She fake as fuck to me. And um, I just thought I'm not really here for her. Her friend though is more likable than she is. I just don't like Angel, and um, I'm not I'm not here for her at all. Period. There's not really much. She only bring an Angel love around so she can have her somebody that's gonna have her back. Cause she clearly needed Dre to have her back. So now that Dre isn't back there anymore, she's bringing this bitch along cause she knows she's gonna have her damn pit bull goon behind her back. Child, another Shawnee and Tammy situation. So, Shawnee decides that she wants to visit Tammy in that ugly ass gray hair wig she had on. And, um, they talk about Brandy and how, you know, Brandy called me several times and she apologized. And then she called me several more times to see if we were good. But then she turned around and I was like, well, she apologized. There's no need for me to fire her or anything like that. Then I turn around and she's doing an interview saying that Shawnee don't have the power to do this and Shawnee don't have the power to do this. Bitch, what you're really mad about is the fact that you want that bitch gone because she called you a bitch. But Val come to want that bitch gone because little do y'all know and little do y'all want to fucking admit. Brandy Brandy is a key part to this motherfucking show. She does bring it. And y'all can say that she's boring out of fuck you want to because she's not. Most of the drama that has happened since season three was because of Brandy. Let's keep it real. She is partially the reason why the show was the shit on season three. And I'm going to keep saying this. Like I had this conversation with my mom earlier today. Like... We hated Sunday in British, but let's just be honest, the show was actually good then. And then Tammy and Shawnee bring their ass on and fuck it up. It was actually good when Sunday British and Brandy first came along. That was a solid cast. It was solid drama. It was the shit. But then y'all want to bring y'all ass on the show and this watered down version of Megan on the motherfucking show and fuck it all up for everybody. And I just want for that shit. You know what I mean? Like y'all want to make it all about y'all. And now Jackie ain't the queen of this motherfucking show no more because you know they had to set up for Jackie to be the queen of Basketball Wives of LA. But she ain't no more. Jackie ain't the queen of the motherfucking ship no more. So it is what it is, you know what I mean? I guess, I guess it is what it is, child. But they talking, but you know, Tammy talking about um, she don't know what's going on with Brandy. Brandy act like folks got the bad eye on her. But you and Shawnee act like they got the bad eye on y'all, bitches. Like, who the fuck y'all supposed to be yelling no motherfucking big dogs? You know what I mean? Like, who the fuck y'all think y'all supposed to be? Y'all mad. That's the problem. Y'all mad because y'all couldn't bully that bitch. Y'all mad because y'all can walk over the bitch. That's the reason why she's the main one y'all can't stand. Y'all mad because somebody was stepping up to y'all bitches. 
That's the fuck why you mad. You mad because y'all can't walk over her ass. Y'all see a bitch that's pretty and y'all thought, okay, we gonna run all over this bitch. But Brandy said, I think not and let your ass know. And that's why you fucking pressed. You press because you can't walk all over this bitch. And Tammy, you the main one press. Because you used to be the person that bullies every bitch on the show. You was the person that would made sure every new girl that came to Miami left the motherfucking show. You were. And you can't fucking take it. You know what I mean? You can't take the fact that a bitch... You know what I'm saying? That a bitch I ain't scared of your motherfucking ass. You used to everybody being scared of you. Everybody ain't gonna be scared of your big burly ass bitch. Everybody ain't in Shawnee. Everybody not gonna do what the fuck you say do. Everybody ain't gonna do what the fuck you say do. So at the end of the day, Shawnee and Tammy, y'all just gonna have to get a fucking grip. This ain't Miami. Ain't nobody scared of y'all bitches. Don't nobody give a fuck how big and burly your ass is, Tammy. Ain't nobody scared of you over here. So, um, Brandy and Duffy, you know, they meet up for dinner and, um, she's going to introduce Malaysia to Duffy or whatever. And she pretty much tells Duffy that to people, when Malaysia first meet people, her personality wise, she's very standoffish, but she doesn't try to be. It's just that she doesn't know you. And me personally, I can honestly say that I'm the same way. And I think that's the Aquarius in me. Like, when I first meet people, I'm very observant. I'm very aloof. When I meet people, somebody be like, oh, Scott, this is my new friend, Tasha. And I can be like, hey, Tasha. I wasn't trying to be shady at all, but that's just the way it comes off. Like, all of my friends say, well, you know, when you bring a new friend to the group, you know, Scott is very, he going to be a bitch. And I really don't be trying to be a bitch. I honestly don't try to be one, but that's just the way that it comes off. You know what I'm saying? It's just the way it comes off. So, I don't know. It's just. That's just, just the way it is. I don't know. That's just me. But I get it. Malaysia comes. She hugs Brandy. She waves at Duffy. Now, Duffy was getting on my nerves during this whole scene. If you already been told that she's standing office with people that she don't know, why the fuck are you offended because she didn't hug you? She don't fucking know you. She ain't got to hug your motherfucking ass, Duffy. She don't have to hug you. Like, just because I'm meeting you don't mean I got to hug your ass. Because I don't hug people I don't fucking know either. I will say hi or hello or, you know, shake your motherfucking hand. I don't have to hug you. It's not in the books to say that you have to hug everybody you meet. You don't have to. I mean, she said hello to you. Then she asked you how was L.A. And you're talking about her stank attitude. Me, personally, I don't even feel like she was giving you attitude. She don't know you. So if you was already told that she was going to be staying office with you off the strip that she don't fucking know your bald head ass, why the fuck are you so offended i don't get why you're so offended i wouldn't be offended if i was already told that the bitch gonna be standing office with me then that's what i'm gonna expect when i meet them all i have to do is do what i have to do to break them walls down so they can let me the fuck in that's all i'm saying so i don't even get it i don't get it i don't understand but whatever but one thing that really irked me with malaysia is when she said that Brandy was being stubborn about this whole Jason thing. And I personally don't think that she's being stubborn. If you done gave the nigga a chance only for him to cheat on you a fucking again, that's grounds to be divorced. You know what I mean? In Malaysia, you should know. You just want a settlement. You just got everything your man ever had. So with that being said, Malaysia, stop it. Just stop it with that bullshit. I'm not even trying to hear that. At the end of the day, Brandy's doing what's best for Brandy. And that's all I can say about that. I didn't agree with Malaysia on that dumb shit at all. That shit was fucking stupid. I don't even know why she would say some bullshit like that. But with that being said, y'all, this is my review on Basketball Wives LA. Um, y'all, as far as the haves and the have-nots, this shit moving slow as a motherfucker for me. And I don't know if I'm going to even review this shit every week like that. It's just an uh, episode got to give me enough for me to review that shit. And plus, ain't nobody watching that review. No way. And on top of that, I'm kind of not trying to do no more reviews on Big Brother. Because ain't nobody watching them reviews anyway. So, whatever. But, um, that's all I got to say about that. On um, my next video, you will see it's Love and Hip Hop ATL. And I'm out of here, y'all. Let me get ready for work. Peace.